Welcome to the devotions on Friday the 4th of February. The reading for today is Matthew chapter 5 and verses 21 to 26. I'm going to focus on just one verse. So if you are presenting your gift at the altar and suddenly remember that your brother has a grievance against you, leave your gift where it is. First go and make peace with your brother then come back and offer your gift. It's when you remember that your brother has a grievance against you that you take the action. It seems the wrong way around, but then an awful lot in these passages in Matthew 5 do seem to be upside down and wrong way round. When Jesus was talking about blessed are you if you are poor, if you're hungry, if you're thirsty. If your brother has a grievance against you, you are the one to go and make peace. My mother was put into, not put in, but she was in a care home for two weeks respite care, having been discharged from hospital. She'd had a series of falls and in the last one before that, she'd broken a couple of bones in her neck and needed to stay in hospital for a few weeks. During that time I realised how her illnesses and her falling had put a big strain on me. I was the primary caregiver. One day my sister and I were driving back from visiting mum in the respite care and my sister said something that really shocked me. I slammed on the brakes and then pulled over where it was safe to park and to talk with my sister. I had not known the depth of the resentment that she had towards me. For 35 years, I'd been away, 5,000 miles away in Kenya while she'd been still in England, phoning mum a few times a week, taking care of her. And then when mum, after dad died, mum moved nearer to be with my sister and she'd visit maybe once a fortnight and was the one who was looking after her, making sure she was okay. Now that I was retired, I was expected to be the one looking after mum. And indeed, I was the primary caregiver. Not that she needed much care until she'd gone into her 90s. She was very active and went swimming twice a week and was very, very social and needed very, very little care. But then she kept falling and she needed a lot more looking after. But my sister had felt that she'd been disregarded, that she'd been taken for granted. And so we were then able to have a few open discussions together. And we were then able to work out a way forward in the care of mum that also took care of my mental and physical health as well. I'm so glad that we were able to do what the Bible said. First, go and make peace with your brother, sister, and then come back to church and offer your gift. Our relationship is now good. And even though I'm still 5,000 miles away here in Kenya, I'm able to chat with my sister more regularly and keep up the conversation that we have as sisters. I'm so glad also that I'm able to do an emergency stop without stalling the car. <laughs>